Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Could I Change? Today, we're going to talk about what's been going on with Sniper Wolf and Jack's films. Okay, so I want to go ahead and just say this is kind of off the cuff. But as you can see, this man used to make videos all the time about uh, Sniper Wolf saying that she's taking content. So he made his own reaction channel, pretty much doing the same thing she does, using her content for content, except for he actually critiques. He actually gives commentary. He plays bingo. He actually does stuff compared to what we know Sniper Wolf loves to do, which is just get on here and say some random thing and be like, wow, that's cool. Wow, did he really do that? She talks like she's some child and it's, it's just ridiculous. And so what I want to say about this whole thing is YouTube not doing anything so far. So she goes so crazy and she decides she wants to dox this man. Decides he, she wants to show his home to people. Understand, it's not about just Sniper Wolf. You know, we know she's done stuff in her past. It's the fact that she showed his home to people who don't like him. She's going to have super fans. There's going to be somebody out there who loves Sniper Wolf. And they're going to be like, man, I hate Jack's film and what he does to you. She has 34 million followers. So she showed it on her Instagram of 5 million followers and says, here's the person who's been bothering me, guys. You understand how dangerous that is. Now it makes it completely unsafe for this man to even be in his home because you've now shown him to the people who... To your fans, to your fans, you showed them to your fans, fans who do not like this man because they like you because of your great concept, maybe because you're pretty. But well, let's just be honest with ourselves. Your content is butt. OK, let's not be dumb. You're really just sitting on there watching TikToks and going, wow, whoa, it's not it's not that great. You got your fame. Cool. I'm sure you're making tons of money. I know you have a whole lawsuit going on, but I'm sure you made your tons of money. Yeah, I'm sure you're the best YouTuber to ever hit the planet. Or if I, you know, it's just here's my thing, Sniper. Is why would you put somebody's life in danger just because they're critiquing you because they don't agree with your content? And here's my thing. And really, I want to get on YouTube, man. If YouTube doesn't do anything about this, if YouTube really decides they don't want to do anything about this. They are the biggest, to me, <laughs> they're an absolute joke. I love YouTube and I love the platform, but if there's so much to favoritism that they can put a man's life in jeopardy to where he can't send his own home because he's critiquing somebody, if YouTube thinks this is okay, they put up a tweet not too long ago or, or uh, a post on X and it says, would it be meta if we reacted to a reaction channel after all the controversy going on with Sniper Wolf? Y'all sound like the biggest bunch of bitches i've ever seen in my life and i'm trying to be nice but that is just an absolute joke if y'all think that y'all can make a joke about a man who has had his whole house doxxed when y'all are doing all this other stuff y'all y'all want to demonetize people y'all want to do all this stuff you want to terminate channels but when somebody literally puts somebody else's address and where they live online to five million people but just because they're sniper wolf you would decide you want to make a joke about it and be like oh you think it's mad if we wanted a reaction channel to reaction channel i don't know who y'all got running the company but y'all are an absolute joke y'all that it makes it seem like y'all are cowards you know what i mean it just seems like the most cowardly shit i've ever seen in my life like, I get it. I understand you want a billion dollar company. I get that. And I hate to diss YouTube. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful. But if it's to this point, if it's to this point that y'all can say, oh, you know what? We're just going to dox people. This is what we're going to do. And we'll allow it because we like Sniper Wolf that much. I remember they've been making all these posts as well, talking about how they love Sniper. And Sniper is one of our best content creators. If y'all are so much, because you know what bothers me is y'all want to always stick your chest out. Y'all always want to be like, hey, we're the big dog when y'all want to demonetize somebody or y'all want to terminate a channel or you want to say, we're not going to put your video up. You're not allowed to do this. We're going to strike you. We're going to do this. Y'all want to be so good. And put your chest out when it's time. But the one time it matters the most because it's a, uh, because it's a YouTuber with 34 million followers and because of Sniper Wolf, now y'all want to be scared. Now y'all want to be like, no, we don't want to hurt Miss. We don't want to hurt Sniper. We don't want to do anything to her. Please, Miss Sniper. I know that YouTube itself only hosts a channel with 34 million people. Y'all literally have, if y'all put every subscriber together, y'all have far more than Sniper Wolf could ever do. I don't care how much money she generates. She doesn't generate more than the platform itself. She doesn't. YouTube is obviously generating more ad revenue than she could ever dream of because she's even on a platform that she's making money from. Y'all are paying her. She's not paying y'all. 
If she was to disappear off the internet and y'all were to let her go, all those people who were following her would not, they would just go find another content creator. The money is still being made. It's not like the money's going to disappear. Those same people are still going to be on YouTube. And we know all 34 million of those people aren't actively watching her. But nonetheless, you know, all those millions of views she get, somebody else can go do it. Somebody else can make better content. I promise you, those people will find somebody else. I don't care if she goes to Rumble or wherever she decides to go. All 34 million of those people are not going to Rumble. And even if they do, even if some of them go watch her, they'll become right back to YouTube. Because YouTube, at the end of the day, y'all are the big dogs. But what y'all are doing right now is such a cowardly thing. Y'all are so quick to terminate so many people. But when it comes to just one itty bitty, and I'm saying, I don't care if she got 30, 40 million. She's itty bitty person because she's still just one person who's evil, apparently, that she wants to dock somebody and then make a joke about it the next day. But like, what would you do if we showed up? What a clown. What an absolute clown of a person. Like, there's very few people that I don't like in the content creator space. But Sniper Wolf is going to be the one of the worst creators I've ever seen. She has a past that's disgusting. What she did with that underage girl that we all know about that I can't show on here. But she showed an underage girl showing her breasts. And people are like, oh, it's a bot. See, she gets every chance. If if anybody else was to do that, if a vast majority, if a man was to get on there and have any, even show the concept of it. And I know this from experience because... I just talk about children who have predators come after them and I immediately get demonetized for that. All I did was talk about a man going after a child and YouTube is like, nope, you can't make no money off that. But if I was to show a girl on here who is a minor showing me her showing me her breasts. I'm done. Any man would be done. Vast majority of creators would be done. Man or woman. Vast majority of people would be done. OK, but y'all make an exception because it's her. And now she just keeps getting work. like, what is the next step? YouTube, like, what the hell does she have to do to get terminated at this point? Then if she can dox people now and not get in any trouble, because she could do this a couple years from now. If she can dox people and if she gets no suspension, no demonetization, nothing happens to her. If she can dox people, what else can she do? Like, what would it take? Does she need to show up to his house and start firing off? I mean, what would it take? You send a herd, you can send a herd of maybe out of those 5 million people that she showed it to. If you just had a percent of those people find out where he lives, if just 0.1% showed up, you have 5,000 people who know where this man lives, who actually hate him, will show up and TP his house. I know that sounds stupid, but it's just going to be a bunch of kids at first TP in the house, but then it's going to be that one kid who really wants to play a prank and really showed up to his house and now things get dangerous. Now he can't sleep at night because you got to look outside and make sure nobody's because she was outside of his house. You know how scary that'd be? So imagine now every day you got to look outside. You got kids at home. You got to look outside. I want to make sure none of the sniper wolves people come by. Because now people can plan. Now he probably has to pick up and move everything to feel safe again. Or he has to go spend tons of money to get security. So doxing somebody is never something you two should be okay with. But y'all are sit, really sitting back on this. And not saying anything. And if YouTube ends up doing nothing and letting this go, they're cowards to me. Okay, they will always be cowards to me. And that will let me know. And it should let everybody know. You can make a lot of money off this platform. You want to stay in your little box and do what you got to do. Make your money off YouTube. Fine, do it. God, yes. They, they're the greatest. Okay? But at the end of the day, just know that if you criticize somebody and they dox you and YouTube likes them, you're fucked. That's the scariest part is if YouTube decides that if you criticize somebody and that person decides to dox you and YouTube happens to like them, you are fucked now. Now, you now it makes YouTubers scared to criticize somebody because it's like, man, what if what if YouTube decides to do nothing? If I get docs and somebody shows up to my house and decide they want to really fire me up, you know what I mean? Decide they really want to do something to me because I criticize somebody they like because there's deranged people out there. I can just get docs. Somebody's going to find out where I live and just like that, docs. And it's just like, that sucks, man. That just It just really sucks because it, it just makes it to where it's, it's so unsafe to be on YouTube now. It's just like, damn, I really got to watch my mouth. YouTube is making you scared to criticize another content creator. Isn't that crazy? Because you're not scared of the content creator now. You're scared of YouTube. You're like, what if YouTube allows me to get docs? Like, what does that say about a company? 
a company that allows people to dox other people because they're like, ah, oh, we don't want to go after them because they're one of our, they're one of our cuties. They're one of our, they're one of our little pets. They're one of our people. We don't want to do anything to them. So it's like, damn it. I, I'm scared to death that some people I can't talk about. This is supposed to be a platform that allows you to call out people and allow you to talk about people that you think is wrong. But now if you open your mouth to the wrong person, you're gone and so now people can do evil things people can steal content people can do whatever they want if they have it in with youtube so they can do whatever they want we can't say nothing about them and if that's if that's the precedence youtube wants to set that sucks that really sucks man because then it makes it like man I, I gotta be careful who i talk about now because if they find out where i live i'm gone and it makes it harder to be a content creator because there's some of us who make great content creation. Some of the people who really do great commentary, who are big YouTubers in the commentary space. But now they got to tread lightly. And somebody says, hey, I'll, I'll find out where you live and I'll show it to every follower I got. And guess what? YouTube ain't going to do a damn thing about it. I think it's a joke. I think it's a farce. And I said it earlier and I'll say it again. They're, they're cowards, man. The cowards and I don't take it back when I said if they don't do anything they're cowards and YouTube is going to be one of the most unsafe platforms you can be on because if you get docs you better hope you don't get docs by somebody they care about anyway that's all I got to say about this uh, I think it's a I think it's a joke I think it really is a clown uh, she's a clown um, and if YouTube allows us to go on they're clowns and I'm not saying that because I understand they can demonetize me for talking about them and blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm not a big YouTuber. Who cares? But I have to call out something that's bad. You know, it's dangerous. And if that's what they're going to do, it's, that's clownish. And I'm not saying it because I hate them. I'm saying it because it's, it's, it's disgusting. This man cannot sit at home with his wife and kids because he has to look out his window every damn day because he says something about one of YouTube's precious little babies. And that's disgusting to me. So YouTube, please do something because that, that's, that's just crazy. All right. Goodbye.